The Tech Temple. Here we are again. This is Wise Man White. I know you guys might be thinking, man, this dude changes his wallpapers and his clock all the time. But yeah, you know what? I can do it, and I will do it, so I do. Alright, so uh, I am running the Google Wallet version, as I showed you before. Um, I'm going to show you right here. Google Wallet. And it does work. It's not just the icon. It does work. I'm not going to show you my pen. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how to... Uh, get that on there. So first of all, take a look at this real quick uh, snapshots, uh, the screencast to show you where you're going to get them from XDA. So go ahead, check that out real quick. Alright, so now you want to get, now you know where to get them from. Now go ahead and put them on your uh, SD card. So uh, now that you put them on your SD card, yeah, I'll show you where I uh, put mine at. Make sure you put them on the root of SD card so don't put them in no folder see so what you want to do is you want to have the I am on the 125 version not the 126 so you want to make sure you have the wallet.2cm crash 4G full the 125 zip and then there's also a wallet fix but I didn't worry about that so make sure you have that wallet and then I flash the latest Google Apps right there it's called 2011 uh, 28 signed and then you also want to get the uh, new talk so that way you can have the Google apps that has the version of Google talk which lets you use the front-facing camera so you can talk otherwise you have to download another app to make the front-facing camera work and you, you don't want to worry about that alright so showed you the files that I got so now let's go into recovery mode And what this is going to do is going to make you, uh, I know before I just showed you how to do it with the normal version, so you'd have the stock, and you have wallet, and you had to switch back between stock, and switch back between Sky and Jamai 7 after a while, and all that got boring. So this will prevent you from doing that. Alright, so now we're, we are in the uh, recovery. The first what you want to do is wipe data factory reset right here. I'm not going to wipe the data factory reset because I already, my mind is working, I already did it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And what I always do is I go to advanced, or I wipe the uh, cache partition. Even though it's probably already wiped already, I do it just in case. Then you want to go to advanced and go to wipe Dalvik cache. Alright, so once you do all that, your phone will be, uh, it'll be clean to go. So now you want to go to install zip from SD card. And you want to go to choose it from SD card. And this is a, I know I got a few files on here, but these are the ones we want. That right above the orange bar, the wallet 2CM Crespo 4G. So flash that first. Then you want to go up to the G apps, the one above the bar. Flash that G app 2011 28 signed zip. Then you want to flash the 2011 28 new talk signed zip. So flash those in that order, and go back. Uh, oh, before you did all this, if you don't trust this method, like, make sure you go ahead and uh, back up before you go ahead and flash those. So you can back up from here if you go to uh, back up and restore right there. And the first option above this bar is back up, so go ahead and back up. So after you uh, do all that, you flash those. What you what I also would recommend doing is fixing the permissions. Now you can fix the permissions from here in ROM Manager. You go to Advanced and uh, fix permissions right above the bar. Just fix fix permissions. Doesn't take that long. And the same way as you were doing it, the Open ROM Manager, and then doing it this way. Same thing. So go ahead and do that way. Fix permissions. Now go ahead and uh, restart your phone. So I do reboot system now. And when you do it, you're going to have to sign into your Google Google account, and you're going to have to restore all your apps and all your data and all that. But once you do that, um, 
You should be good to go. You should have Google Wallet. Um, you get the little skateboard, sign in Jamon, dude. And with the 125, I have not found any uh, any funny errors with it. But I still like... Oh, no, I have found one, one, one uh, version error. So what happens is... Uh, this is the only problem that I've seen. When you... When the screen dims, like, you know, like I have my screen set for... You have the normal brightness, and then it gets dim to let you know it's about to shut off, and then it shuts off. Well, when it gets to that dim mode, it kind of turns like a green tint. Uh, hopefully it does it right now. I'm going to try to show you. If it does a green tint thing. Uh, just let me unlock it and try it. Turn the screen off, turn it on. Uh, let me unlock it, and then let's see. Hopefully it uh, dims. It's not a big problem, but you might notice it and be like, what the heck, like, what's wrong with my phone? I mean, that's. I think it's just whatever they did with the, I think it's the kernel that they used that makes the green tint. Um... Let me change my screen timeout. That way we're not waiting. Uh, display. Screen timeout. I have it on a minute. Let's just put it on 15 seconds. Alright, so now it's on 15 seconds. And there you go. You see it's kind of green. I guess a green hue. And I, I think it's just the kernel that they used. But when you, it doesn't stick. Like, when you turn your screen back on, it's, you're fine. You still got the normal colors. But if that happens to you, I just wanted to let you know that it's not just you. That's just how this thing is. But that's the only error, I've, the only glitch I've seen. All right. Show you one more thing. So, you should have Google Wallet now. And I'm going to show you a few of the things that I've seen since I got this new version of CyanogenMod. But as you, as you already know, uh, you've seen and noticed this, the lock screen is different. So, you can just slide that and it'll unlock your phone. Uh, you just slide this over here, the volume turns off. The volume goes, it goes vibrate, then it goes silent. And then the sound sounds back on. You can set this icon any custom thing, so I would have the camera. So you slide this up. Ah! Oh no, sorry, the middle one, you slide it to the icon in the middle. So once you do that, I have mine going to the camera, so now I have my camera on. Bye, please. Alright. So yeah, I noticed that. And what's also nice, uh, so we all know the Nexus has 4G. What are we missing besides the ability to zoom with the camera? We're missing notification light. No LED. But... Let me show you something. Let me uh, send myself a text message real quick. Let's see. The one you see in my number. Right, so I just sent myself a message. See, the screen is off. It works with all notifications. It works with, you get a a tweet or you get new mail, you get a, I am, a Google chat I am, you get a uh, new text, um, probably like Kick Messenger if you use that, any notification this thing should work. Alright, there's my text, finally. Alright, so you see that? We don't need LED because we got these. Alright, so I'll let you know that you got a text or you got I am or something. So no more having to check your screen all the time. You do have that. So those are the two major things that I found in this build. The lock screen and notification. Which is pretty big in itself. So there's a proof to you right there. That's my text message. And the sun's out. Alright, so that's the Google Wallet version for the CyanogenMod 7. I'll post a link in the show notes in the bottom of the video. Just click the right there. It should be two arrows to say show more or see more. Click that. If you got any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, I'll answer them pretty quick. Thanks again for your support. I appreciate you guys. Without it, I would not be doing what I do. So, alright. Uh, see you guys later. This is Wise Man White, the Tech Temple.
Peace. Notification.